actually won the playoffs over in the championship as both Middlesbrough and Sheffield United dropped points. And of course, Blackburn Rovers are absolute shit against Peterborough United. But what's going to happen this coming Easter? We'll take a little look next. Today we look forward to match day number 43 over in the championship. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you're in, smash your subscribe to keep back to all things DLS related, Blubber and Rovers related, championship related. We're all here, boys, under one roof. So you happy Easter, boys, wherever you are in the world. Of course, hopefully you got what you want from your Easter body. Of course, eggs, all that shit. And hopefully you get your big fat three points. Don't you, Diaz? That's what we want, of course, coming at you this coming Easter Monday. We'll get into it all of it in a minute. Of course, big shout out to my VRPs. They're the patrons, guys. Thank you for your love and, of course, playing this. You know who you are. So, Let's get into it. Of course, recap the action from, of course, this Good Friday. See how we all got on, which, of course, was pretty shit. So here, here are those games uh, coming at you. Bournemouth, 0-0 zero, zero against Middlesbrough. Don't you want promoted, Bournemouth? You're going to give it up. You're going to give it up to Forest, aren't you? Or maybe not, of course. Meanwhile, Birmingham, 4-2 loss to Coventry. Big win for them on the road. Derby County, 2-1 win over Fulham. They don't even want to get promoted. Look at that. Huddersfield against QPR, 2-2 in the end. Hull City got themselves a big win over Cardiff. Luton Town, slap dot, dash dot against Forest. Oh, my days. Peterborough, bloody hell. What the, what the Look at what an embarrassment that was. Uh, no disrespect. Of course, Preston with the course to draw against Millwall. Sheffield United, of course, choked against Reading as well. Stoke uh, didn't know what to do against Bristol City. And Swansea drew with Barnsley. Of course, West Brom, 2 on win over Blackpool. But is it too little, too late for them right here, right now? Probably not. Uh, probably is, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Let's take a look at the table. Here it is. Um... Yeah, as you can see, as you can see, four points the difference between Bournemouth and Huddersfield right now, but Bournemouth seem to have a very, very humongous amount of games going on, which, of course, they need to start getting some wins under the belts, don't they? Of course, they've lost the same amount of games as Fulham. Of course, they also choked up a little bit last time around. Of course, Huddersfield are doing their bit to stick around, as are Luton Town with that monstrous win over Forest, which I didn't see coming, did I, in the end? Let's take a look down the drop, down the drop there. Of course, all the teams at the bottom, I think they picked up some points. But so did Reading, which, of course, doesn't do them any favours at the moment. Uh, so, believe it or not, <coughs> <coughs> for the most part, if you play 42 games, you've got 12 points left on the horizon. So, Barnsley, uh, just two points left. They could actually get relegated this this, this match uh, and get confirmed if if Reading win and they and they lose or something like that, something along those lines. So, it is in fact, in fact, they could all possibly be down. It looks like they could all possibly be down if Reading win and everyone else loses. They could all be down, I think. Something like that. It is tight there. That, that of course, it's, it's probably going to be confirmed this this week, and, and that that relegation, which could have been so tight, uh, is about to um, about to come to a crashing halt. Anyway, let's take a look at, of course, how you guys got on. Take a bloody bow, these guys. Uh, Damon Heaven, of course, uh, with eight points. Andy Dag and Jochen Bjerg up there with four. Big gap between the top and the chasing pack there. What about, of course, what's that done to the overall leaderboard then? Uh, Damon Heaven up to 11th there. But Shane O'Donnell kicks ass with 109 points. First 77 is up there in second. With Hans Worst with 102. Of course, that's the mini leaderboard. The real one's bubbling behind the scenes. We'll get to that, of course, in a couple of weeks' time. That was the link. These are the games, of course. So we're going to start off with the game of the day. I'm back, guys, from Canada A. Of course, we're back from our around a boot uh, trip to Canada A. Uh, so uh, uh, we're going to be looking forward to this game. We're going to have a watch along for this one. But, of course, I'm not promising you anything from this game. So here uh, we uh, go. Oh, gosh, it is. It is Stoke City, of course, at the bet. There. You know, it's, it's going to be at, at of course, Ewood Park Rovers. Uh, we've been absolutely shockingly bad up against the Stoke City side. It's probably not been that great either. Anyway, of course, heading into this game, the pitch is 17 times, 2008. Five the Blackburn, of course, uh, eight was the Stoke and four draws. Of course, just one win a sixth of the Blackburn and 33% form for them heading into this game. Up against the Stoke side, of course, uh, one three and lost three over the last six, 50% form for them uh, heading into this game. Last time, of course, oh, Addy were part of it was a draw back in, of course, January 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, was a one away for Rovers at Stoke back in, of course, November when we were playing actually good football. Meanwhile, of course, Rovers, oh, uh, we've scored goals though in the last three. I'll give you that. Uh, so we, we, we but uh, basically, shit, one win in six. Uh, up against the Stoke side who don't know what to do. Of course, last time they played each other. The last time they were in action, of course, it was a 1 0 loss against Bristol City. Uh, of course, they didn't score at home, but of course, they did beat West Brom on the road 3 1, uh, of course, a couple of games back. So you don't know what to take from this. I've got basic odds here. Basic odds go in favour of Rovers. They are favoured on there. But for me, I've had enough. I've had a bloody enough. I think we're going to lose this game. I've gone with a 2 0 for Stoke because every time I pick a win for Rovers or a draw or something, we get absolutely zilch. So I, 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 I feel that we are playing a little bit better in, in regards to scoring goals, but everything else seems to be going wrong. Um, and this, if you wanna, if you want to 
do a documentary of how to destroy a season or how to destroy uh, the mental health. Or not, that's a bit, that's a bit harsh. How to, the, 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 the belief, the confidence of players. Then watch Rovers second half of the, of the season. It's been an absolute train wreck. And of course, this will be the latest bit of action for it. So anyway, let's kick on. Rovers to lose against uh, Stoke. Let's get the deep end. Then Blackpool up against Birmingham over at Bloomfield Road. Let's get the deep end then. Uh, play to the 16 times. Five was the Blackpool. Of course, six was the Birmingham. And five draws. Of course, just one win and six there for Blackpool right now. 33% form up against the Birmingham side. Of course, just one win and six. Also 33% form. Two sides looking for results and some consistency to end the campaign. Last time, of course, over at Bloomfield Road. It was a one nil win for Blackpool back in, of course, December 2014. The reverse fixture, of course, at St. Andrews was was a one over Birmingham back in November. Meanwhile, Birmingham picking up a 4-2 loss against Coventry Blackpool with a 2-1 loss against West Brom. But the odds on this one go 23-20 is your Blackpool. Of course, 23-10 is your 12-5 is your away win. That is, of course, Birmingham. Tight this one. Could go either way. Going to go to Blackpool here with a 2-1 win for them to take it to the house. Bristol City, uh, of course, up against uh, Sheffield United. Of course, over at Thrashton Gate. Now, these two sides have played each other 22 times in 9 4 8 wins for Bristol City, 13 wins for Sheffield United, and 1 draw. Of course, 1-2 uh, loss to and drawn 2 over the last 6 for Bristol City. 1-2 loss to and drawn 2 over the last 6 for Sheffield. Sheffield United, both sides come to this on 50% form, of course. Last around, though, out at Thrashton Gate. It was a 1-0 win for Bristol City. That was, of course, back in the September 2018. The reverse fixture at Bramall Lane was a 2-0 win for, for Sheffield United back, of course, December, uh, November 2021. Bristol City, we can pick up a 1-0 win over Stoke, of course, and Reading picking up a 2-1 win over Sheffield United. Last around, and, and uh, of course, uh, yeah, Sheffield United uh, back to back games now without a win. Coming at you, though, looking at the odds for this one 7 to 2 is your Bristol City, equals 5 to 2 is your and 5 to 4 on is your Sheffield United. Going to back, of course, a draw here, point in the bag. Not good enough for Sheffield United, you think to maintain a real claw of that playoff spot just yet. Cardiff City up against Luton Town, of course, at uh, over in Wales. Now, these two sides have played 11 times, 2002. Uh, six was the Cardiff, three was the Luton, and we've got two draws, of course. 58% form for Cardiff right now. That's 1-2, uh, lost two, and uh, well, actually 1-3, lost two, and drawn one over the last six. Meanwhile, Luton coming to this, uh, just one win and four games to them. 67% form over the last six, though, uh, heading into this. Of course, last time I ran out Wales, it was a 4 0 win for Cardiff back in November 2020. The reverse fixture at Luton was a 2 1 win for Cardiff as well. In fact, Cardiff unbeaten against Luton over the last four times, picking up four wins on the spin. Meanwhile, of course, Cardiff with a 2-1 loss against Hull City last round. Luton with a 1-0 win over Forest. And it was a dubious penalty, I believe, uh, with a, with a, I think it was actually a Luton Town man who handled the ball, unless I saw something else uh, this past weekend. Heading into this game, though, what do we got? We've got Cardiff 7-4 for the Richie. 31 to 20 is your Luton. Of course, 11 to 5 is your win here for Luton Town. You would think they're definitely in the playoffs. But I'm back, of course, Cardiff to get the win. 2-1 win for them. Over there, of course, Luton Town to, of course, uh, put them in, 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 uh, in no man's land for the time being, but still probably in the top six. Coventry City up against Bournemouth, of course, over at the Rico. Let's get the deep end on this one. They show, of course, uh, a place of the five times 2012, two wins apiece and one draw. Of course, Coventry, though, winning back-to-back -back games for them. 50% form over the last six, though. And against the Bournemouth side, of course, winning uh, without a win in three now. 58% form, as, of course, they've hit a bit of a bubble. Uh, the moment, of course, last time around, over at the Rico, it was a 3-1 win for Bo uh, Bournemouth. Of course, that was back in October 2020. That might have been at St. James's Park or St. Andrews or whatever. Meanwhile, of course, Bournemouth picking up a 2-2 draw against Coventry way back in course, November this campaign. Bournemouth, of course, have now got three games without scoring a goal. Goodness gracious me, uh, of course, drawing with Borough. Uh, Chevy Knight and of course uh, losing to West Brom. Of course, Coventry though are scoring goals, scoring seven in the last two, pick up a uh, three-one win and a four-two win over Birmingham, hitting of course peak form at the right time. Of course, and they, those games were on the road. Uh, of course, look at the odds for this one. Then shall we? We have got uh, what have we got going on? Uh, Coventry, of course, 90, 10 for the Richie, 7 to 5 is your course. Bournemouth at 9 to 4 is your draw. I'm back, and of course, a, a big win for Coventry City here. 2 to win for them. Give them back, right back in the thick of things for playoffs. Denting Paul Bob's uh, automatic hopes. And of course, open up the wood, uh, the floodgates for maybe Huddersfield and maybe even Forest to, of course, make a push for that top two. Barnsley, let's get the deep up against Peter, of course. Relegation 6 point. Uh, here it is. Of course, it's do or die for these, court, uh, of course. 22 times they play each other since 1993. 12 wins for Barnsley, 7 wins for Peter, and 3 draws, of course. 42% for Barnsley right now. Uh, of course, uh, uh, 1 win and 6 and then 42% for Barnsley. Uh, Peter side one two lost two and drawn two over the last six, uh, of course, including a win against Rovers. Of course, uh, uh, last time around oh, at Okra was a two 0 win for Barnsley back in December 2018. The reverse fixture over at Peter was a 0 0 draw back in, of course, November. Posh with the win over Rovers last time around. Barnsley with a draw against Swansea on the road last time around. The gold odds for this one we've got what have we got going on here? We've got 20 to 19 on is your Barnsley, 23 to 10 is your draw, and 14 to 5 is your Posh on this one. I'm back, of course, a 1 0 win for Barnsley, uh, which might give them a better hope. I think they have a game in hand on the other two, so that might give them a bit, a bit of a boost moving on. Uh, towards the end of the campaign. Meanwhile, Fulham, I guess Preston, of course, coming at you on Tuesday, the 19th of April, of course. Now, these two sides have played 11 times to 20, 20, to the year 2005. Was the Fulham, two was the Preston, and four draws, of course, 
Uh, just two wins in the last six games for Fulham right now. 42% form up against the present side. One, two, lost to and drawn two over the last six. That's 50% form for them right now. Of course, last round though, over at uh, uh, Fulham. It was a 2 0 win for Fulham back in the course of uh, February 2020. The reverse fixture at Deepdale was a draw back in the course of November 2021. Fulham, though, did lose to uh, Derby County last round. And of course, pressed to pick up a draw against Millwall uh, at Deepdale, of course, uh, on uh, Good Friday. Of course, 29 on is your Fulham, 10 3 is your and 6 1 is your long shot. It's pressing. I think Fulham will get the win here. Two new win for them. Tented the hopes, of course, Preston. And maybe even crowned as, of course, or, or, or confirming the return to the Premier League on this game. Next, of course, I heard zinger, zinger, chicken dinner. It is Middlesbrough. It is Huddersfield. It's the early game on, of course, Easter Monday. Place of the 15th times of 1997. 10 wins of Borough. Two was Huddersfield and three draws, of course. Uh, Middlesbrough just 4-5 for them. 42% form for them. Up against the Huddersfield town side. Of course, 50% form for them. 1-2, lost to and drawn to. However, unbeaten in the last three games. So, of course, heading into this game. Last round over at Riverside. It was a 2-1 win for Middlesbrough back in February. Of course, 2021. The reverse fixture at Huddersfield was a 2-1 for Middlesbrough back in, of course, uh, uh, November as well. So, back-to-back -back wins for Borough heading into this game. Middlesbrough, though, picking up a 0-0 draw against Bournemouth and have scored in one, two, three games in a row. Meanwhile, Huddersfield picking up a back to back uh, well, uh, scored uh, uh, four goals in the last two games. Five goals in the last five. Well, no, I don't know. 2-2 uh, draw against QPR last round. Of course, the odds for this one then, shall we? we got Middlesbrough 5-4 to four on for the direction. 5-2 to two is sure. And 7-2 is your Huddersfield on this one. I think I've gone with a win for nobody. 2-2 two, two in the end. Points split right in the middle. Huddersfield keep on fighting. Middlesbrough's hopes, of course, hanging in the balance. Millwall up against Hull City, of course. Let's take a look at it then, shall we? Over at the Den. Now, these two sides have played to the quarter. My eyes are 17 times to five. Six wins apiece. Five draws, of course. Huddersfield, though. Sorry. Uh, Millwall coming into this. Uh, one win in six for them. 50% form over the last six, though. 1-2 lost to Andrew, one, two, over the last six. Meanwhile, Hull City coming to this 58% form, winning three of the last five. Of course, uh, starting to click into gear under Shota Abelazi at, of course, the wrong end of the season. Last round, of course, at the Den, it was a draw back in, of course, August 2019. The reverse fixture at the KCOM was 2-1 for Hull back in, of course, November as well. Uh, Millwall with the draw against Preston last round. Of course, Hull with the 2-1 win over Cardiff heading into this game. The also for this one, Millwall 5-4 on for the direction, 25 is your draw. And, of course, we got 50-4 is your Hull City on this one. Cal Millwall make a push for the top six, 5-4 on. They are favoured to win this one. I'm going with a 1-0 win for Millwall. They are on the Hunt uh, for that last top six spot at the moment. Kicking off always Reading up against Swansea City. Let's get the deep in there. Shower course at the Bajeski. Now these two sides of course play to the goal in my eyes. 25 times to 5. Five wins for Reading, 11 wins for Swansea and nine draws. Of course, just one defeat at the last six games for Reading right now. 67% form up against the Swansea side. Of course, unbeaten in the last six games. Picking up uh, three wins the last uh, four games. 83% form for Swansea at the moment. Of course, last round though at the Reading, it was a 2 2 draw back in the course, uh, uh, April 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, was a 3 2 win for Reading over in Wales. They also played for the Adam Majeski back, of course, August. It was in round one of the EFL Cup. 3 0 win it was for Swansea way back when. In fact, the home side hasn't won this game since Swansea beat Reading in Swansea back, of course, October 2018. Uh, Reading pick up a 2 1 over Sheffield United last round. Swansea with a 1 1 draw against Barnsley. The odds for this one 7 5 is Reading, 9 4 is draw, and 90 10 is your way when that is Swansea on the this one tight, tight, tight one. This one gonna go with two one for Reading. Another win, probably safety for them. Uh, confirmed after this match. Next, of course, we have another zinger, zinger, chicken dinner. It's not in the forest up against West Brom. It's the late kickoff as well over at the city ground. Now, these two sides have played 21 times in 93. Eight wins for Forest, six wins for West Brom, and seven draws. Of course, West Brom, of course, picking up uh, two wins the last three games, 58% form over the last six up against the uh, uh, forest side. Of course, surprisingly lost last time around, uh, but picked up three wins the last four games, 60% form for them heading into this game. Last time around, of course, over at the city ground, it's a two one win for West Brom, two one win it was, of course, back. Of course, August 2019, the reverse fixture at the Baggies at the Hawthorns. It was a new new draw back in course November 2021. Forest, of course, losing to Luton Town last time around. West Brom with a 2 1 win over Blackpool last time around. The odds, though, for this one we have 21 to 20 is your Forest, 12 to 5 is your draw, 5 to 2 is your West Brom. Can, of course, Stevie Boost do the unthinkable and do the number on Forest? I think no. 2 0 in the end for Forest to take it to the house and then wrap it up, wrap it up. It'll be QBR up against Derby at Loftus Road or whatever you want to call it these days. 20 times in 2004, 9 was a QBR, 10 was for Derby and 9 draws, of course. QBR, though, 8% form for them. Haven't won last six games. Meanwhile, Derby, of course, uh, just one to feed past four for them. 42% form for them heading out of this, uh, of course. Last time around, over at QPR was 1-4. Derby, back in the course of oh, January 2021. The reverse fixture at Derby was 2-1 for QPR back in the day. That was, of course, in November. Meanwhile, Derby picking up a 2-1 whenever Fulham last time around. QPR picking up a 2-2 draw against Huddersfield. The also for this one, 65 is QPR, 23-10 is draw, and 23-10 is your Derby on this one. Can Derby hang on for another week? We'll see about that. I don't think so. I'm going to go with a 1-1 for QPR. Get back to winning ways. And maybe even back in the mix. Who bloody knows? I don't know. Get your calculators out. Of course, that is it. Cutly Four Shash Champs. That's my picks. Of course, be sure to give it some love by smashing the thumbs up. It does wonders for the old algorithm. It also does wonders for the channel. If you could do just that, just do me a favor. If just before you click e exit video, just hit that thumbs up. Smash the subscribe if you And also drop a comment if you can. But until then, boys, we're done right now. See you soon. Of course, enjoy your Easter. But until then, we're done.